and we're back. It's Mike Cernovich from Danger and Play, Grow a Mindset. Here to talk about how can you find your life purpose and your life passion. We get that question a lot. And it's in a lot of ways a misguided question, and here's why. Your, your life purpose is not singular. You're not going to have one life purpose, and then that's everything, and then that, that's all that matters, and everything is perfect. <laughs> your life is going to change. When you're younger, your life purpose could be, for example, being just going out and meeting a lot of women, going to the gym, trying to get big, trying to get jacked. And then you might change. You know, I've changed, for example. So the way I used to train was really heavy, real hardcore, killed it in the gym. I just loved it. I felt like it was the, the greatest place I wanted to be. And the biggest I ever got was like 215, 220, and I was lean. I wasn't ripped, but I was definitely lean. But I couldn't feel my fingers sometimes. My circulation was poor. I just I didn't like it, right? But I still do the same things I did when I when I cared about being big. Like, but when I go to the gym, it's like a mindset shift now. Now it's more, okay, I have blood pumping in my brain. When I see veins popping out of my arms, it isn't like an ego thing. It's more like, okay, I'm, I'm dilating my blood vessels. This is making me more intelligent. It's helping me preserve my intelligence. It helps me live longer. So I, I do some of the same shit, but I wouldn't say going to the gym is my life purpose now. Now going to the gym is like something I do, you know, three days a week. And the way I train is completely different than the way it used to be. My life purpose is what I do, but you don't know this. <laughs> this, this is funny, right? When I was younger, I'd read those Zen, those Zen riddles and stuff, and I found them really annoying. And now I'm saying shit like that. Your life purpose is what you do. But there's truth to that. What do you do that you like to do? Put aside, can I monetize it? Can I make money? Is it practical? Forget about that. What do you do that you like? Because most of what we do, we, do, we don't like. I read a lot of your websites and I'll see guys that are like, you know, I got player burnout. You know, I'm just tired of going out and spending 20 hours a week meeting girls. I'm like, well, then, then why are you doing it? Well, you're doing it because some, because some internet forum told you that, like, that's what you should do. But you don't, you don't even like doing it. So that isn't your life purpose. Or you're going to college to get a degree to work in a job that you don't want to do. But you're doing it because your parents told you to do it or because somebody told you to do it. So in instead of thinking really broad and philosophical, like, what is my life purpose? Think more concretely. What are you doing? It goes back to the philosophy of person. What is a person? Who am I? Who am I? Well, I'm a this, I'm a that, I'm a... And you sit around thinking about it. No, you are what you do every day, day in and day out. I said it before, I'll say it again. If you do shitty things, you're a shitty person. You can't say, oh, I'm a good person. You always say, oh, I'm a good person. Well, let me audit your time and see if what you're doing is consistent with what a good person looks like. Now, maybe you're not like a total piece of shit, but are you really this good person, right? Same thing with your life purpose. What do I want to do? Go do a bunch of things, man. Go out and fucking try, travel. Then you'll find your life purpose. My life purpose is what I do every day. I fucking, I have the time of my life, man. People always tell me, oh, you know, you, you know, your Twitter's this, or this is that, or you can't write what you write, or I can't believe you did that. Like, but, but it's my purpose. It's what I do. This morning, you know, I wake up and I get up and I go downstairs. I'm in a hotel and I get the breakfast. I'm drinking coffee. Shauna comes down. She's like, you're working, babe? I'm like, yeah. She's like, I thought you said you were on vacation. I'm like, I, I know I'm supposed to be, right? I'm supposed to not be writing every day. I'm supposed to just relax. Because when you live your life purpose and you're, what you really want to live is your obsession. Because if you live your obsession and you're good at it, you're probably going to be pretty happy. Even if you can't monetize it big time or even if you can only monetize it a little bit. You're going to be happy at least when you're not you know, making money. Me, fortunately, I found a way to monetize it. I've, I've, I've found a way to monetize it, but I could make more money doing other things, you know? But I'm living my life purpose every day it's because I like it and I'm good at it. So then it's like a chicken and egg question, you know? Do I really do what I do because I'm serving a higher calling and helping people? Maybe. Or just do I do what I do because I'm so fucking goddamn good at it and have so much fun doing it? Well, I was I don't give a fuck. It doesn't matter, right? I wake up, first thing I'm like, I'm out of bed. Like, okay, how many books did I sell? 
Let's look at shit. What's going on? Let's catch up with the, the, tw the thing from last night. What am I going to write about today? I wake up, I don't know what I'm going to write about. I get up and I get in front of this mirror. I don't know what I'm going to say. But I fucking have the, the time of my life doing it, you know? And then people like nitpick, well, do this and that. I was like, I, but I don't give a fuck, right? Like, I have fun. Even the hate to me is like fun. The hate is fun for a couple levels. One is, if you ain't got haters, it's because nobody knows who you are. Two is, okay, my book is called Gorilla Mindset. The more haters that come after me and the more I laugh and smile at it, that's what you call meta marketing. So you're not saying, well, buy my book. You know, that's what most people buy my book. To me, it's like, oh, wait, this guy who gets hate on all the time sells a book on mindset. So maybe there's something to that, right? It sells itself because, because of the hate. That's why I love the haters, and I try to find ways to, to draw on more haters. Problem is now they're all too afraid of me. Nobody will even talk about me. So maybe I like have to shift my tactic and be show a little weakness and let them, let them think there's some blood in the water. But anyway... I don't sit around thinking, well, gosh, Mike, why do you why do you like doing this? Do you have a need for attention or are you narcissistic or maybe you didn't get enough attention as a kid, which isn't true. I had a pretty good childhood. There were issues, but I definitely had a very loving, present father and a loving mother who they did the best they could. Yeah, they fucked up, but all your parents are fuck ups. What are you going to do? I grew up in an intact nuclear family. So I didn't have like, oh, you know, I didn't get enough attention or this. I don't know. So I don't know. And if you said, Mike, what is your life purpose? I couldn't give you a one sentence thing. I could say, well, change the world. I make the world a better place. Um, you know, I support free speech because if I'm over here on the margins, that gives you guys a lot of leeway to say a lot of things. You're like, well, okay, I just won't go as far as Mike goes. And that kind of gives you that sort of Overton window, that comfortable place where you can be. And I can, I can do all that. You know, I'm a lawyer. I can spend things however you want to say, but I just... I fucking love what I do. So I don't know what my life purpose is. I don't know what I do. I fucking write shit and I get money. I, you know, I don't know. I don't know what my life purpose is, but I know that I'm living it because when I wake up, I'm like, fuck, I, I can't wait to hit it. Can't wait to hit it hard. I, you know, and it, that obsession comes in where you just don't want to do anything else. And then you reach like a different point where you you need to find like the ways to, fuck, like I'm I need to not burn myself out because I'm so obsessed with what I do. And that's why I'm really big into active massages. And, and I believe you need to take your leisure time and treat that like an obsession. You, know, you need to get massages and Epsom salt baths and saunas and cold showers and contrast showers and, you know, drink green juice and eat healthy and you do, you know, do all these things. But that's because you burn out when you're obsessed. Well, how do you find what you're obsessed with? You have to try a lot of shit. You got to try a lot of things, guys. Find out what you fucking, you wake up and that's what you want to do. Now, a lot of people say, well, I like to do this, but I can't monetize it. Well, yeah, that's a different problem, but why don't you get to that problem first? Because most of what I hear people say, well, I like music. I, you know, I'm really, you know, music is my passion. Okay. How many hours a day have you played on your instrument? Oh, well, you know, you, okay, then it's not your passion. Because if it's your passion, what do you do? You're not fucking around thinking about shit or navel gazing. You're like, well, fuck, I worked and I'm off work. Now I'm going to fucking play my music. That's how I was in college. I, I did full-time course load and then I waited tables. I always had a job 20 or 30 hours a week, sometimes more. Full-time college class load. When I got out of the um, waiting tables or whatever, gym. When I went to um, class, gym. I really liked reading philosophy books, so I was reading. That's what I, that was my obsession, right? That was my passion at the time. Just reading, engaging, thinking about the world, you know, going to the gym, trying to get stronger, you know, trying to get bigger. And that's what I wanted to do. So if I'm asking you, well, what's your passion? And you say, well, my passion is this, but you, you're not spending time doing it. It isn't your passion. If it's your passion or it's your obsession, when you're at work, you're like, fuck, I can't wait to get out of here because I want to do this, Right. So that's a good way to, to find what really your passion is, what your obsession is. When you're not at work, what are you waiting to get out to do? That's your passion. Now, you might come to some uncomfortable realizations to your passion. Most people are living their passion. Their passion is to go home and to watch television, drink alcohol, eat food. That's, and I'm not here to tell you that that's good or bad, but if that's what you're doing, 
And you're like, boy, I can't wait, or I can't wait to get, get off work to get fucked up, man. I'm glad that's your passion. Now, maybe you don't want to, to be honest with yourself and accept that, accept that as the truth. That's your truth because you're doing it. That's what you're thinking about. That's what you're looking forward to. You're watching the clock. I can't wait. I can't wait to go home and watch the next TV thing, or I can't wait to do this. That's your passion, and you got to be honest with yourself. Because if you don't like that, why not? Maybe you should, right? If you tell me, you know, my passion is to go home and watch TV, okay, I'm not going to tell you that's a bad passion. That's not right for me. I couldn't live like that. To me, that's wasting my life. But if that's really what you like and you've tried other things, fine. Now, it might not be that you like it, but you're afraid to do other things. You're afraid to chase your real passion. And I think that's the problem most people have is they're really afraid to try and fail because when you find your passion, you're going to fail at a lot of things you're going to feel miserably. There's an expression in the U.S. where you step on your dick. You're going to step on your dick a lot. You're going to fuck up. You're going to get pushed back. Because what you learn when you do things, the world is going to push back. You don't get to do whatever you want until the world has told you multiple times that you can't do anything. It's going to fucking hit back. And then you have to get up and you have to hit back harder. And you have to learn what it's like to just get fucking your, your nose broken and to keep going. And if you get your nose broken and keep going, that's your passion and that's your obsession. So, does that make sense? I think it does. But what you need to start doing is you need to just try out a bunch of things. I've told guys before, just go out and meet girls and make money. You know, if you're young, you're in your 20s, if you go out and you say, I really want to figure out how to make money and how to have sex with a lot of women and travel, you're, you're probably going to find your passion. You're, you're at least going to find some kind of sense of human happiness or contentment or whatever those good emotions people have. And then as you do that, you'll evolve and you'll find out, okay, like for me, making money isn't enough. I have to make money doing what I like. It's going to change though. When you're younger, it might just be, I just want to make money. And then you figure out how to make money. And then you figure out how to make money doing as what you like. But think about all that stuff later. Try something new every day. That's how you're going to find your passion. And get out of this therapeutic culture that you can just sit around and bullshit with your friends and talk on message boards and watch YouTube videos. And then somehow you're going to find your life passion. You're not. The only way to find your life passion, take action today. Try something new. Try something that you think is that you'll never be able to do. Figure that out. And then go at it hard. Get that pushback from life, push back more, and then you're going to find your passion. How long? I don't know. It might take years. It took me a long time to figure out this was sort of my life purpose and this was my passion. And I'm 30, 37 now. Took, took, I probably was 35 when I really figured out, like, okay, this is my life. This is where I want to be. But do I think this will be my life purpose the whole time? No. I mean, I probably have kids. If I have kids, my life purpose and passion will probably be more directed towards them. You know, if, if I got kids, am I really going to be on Twitter? You know, probably not. You know, I'll probably have other priorities. Or I'll shift and my passion might be, oh, okay, now I'm seeing problems on the front lines that affect children. So maybe my passion will be to help parents who have children. I don't know, but it's, I know it's going to change. But all I know is that I keep trying things. I keep doing new things. I find out what I like. I find out what I don't like. And then I find out what I'm good at. When you find out what you're good at, you're going to like it. That's a great thing, too, about being human. If you're good at something, even if it isn't the most high, high money thing or the most high status thing, if you're really good at something and lose yourself in what you do and you really feel passion for it, then you're going to like it and you're going to feel like you're living your purpose. So who knows? I don't know what my life purpose is, but I know that every day I fucking I wake up excited. I can't wait to do what I'm going to do. I love what I do. So fuck it. Fuck caring about your life purpose. Who cares? It's a bullshit fucking question. Find out what it is that you like to do and what you want to do and what you're good at and what you're obsessed with, what you can lose yourself in. Forget the questions. Take action. That's what you got to do. I'll be here tomorrow. Talk to you then.